What is virtualization? Virtualization is a technology that allows you to create virtual versions of computing resources, such as operating systems, server storage, or networks on a single physical machine. By creating these virtual environments, multiple independent systems or applications can operate currently on one physical piece of hardware. This is achieved by abstracting hardware resources, which means spreading the actual physical resources or physical computer from the software that uses them. Virtualization is commonly used in data centers, cloud computers, development and testing environments as it maximizes the use of physical resources and simplifies management. And here are the key concepts of virtualization. Virtual machines or VMs. A virtual machine is an emulated computer system that behaves like a separate physical computer. Virtual machines can have their own operating systems and applications and function independently of each other. For instance, you can have a Linux virtual machine running on a Windows computer or multiple Windows versions running on the same hardware. Hypervisors A hypervisor or virtual machine monitor VMM is a software that creates and manages virtual machines by allowing resources like CPU, memory and storage. It allows multiple VMs to share the same hardware, ensuring each VM operates independently. There are two types of hypervisors. Type 1 is a bare metal hypervisor because it is being installed directly on hardware, not on some other secondary operating system which is installed already. And bare metal hypervisor runs directly on physical hardware without a host operating system. For example, VMware, ESXi or Microsoft Hyper-V. It offers a high performance and is typically used in data centers and enterprise environments. And there is type 2 hypervisor, which is known as hosted hypervisors. These run on a top of an existing host operating system. For example, VirtualBox or VMware Workstation, which we will be also installing in future videos, which makes it suitable for personal computers or development environments, but with slightly lower performance. And resource allocation and isolation. Virtualization ensures each VM has its own dedicated virtual CPU, memory, storage and network resources. These resources are isolated so that activities on the VM do not affect others, which is essential for security and stability. Hardware abstraction. Virtualization abstracts the underlying physical hardware, allowing virtual machines to run on different hardware configurations. This means a virtual machine can move to a new physical machine without changes or compatibility issues, which is valuable for disaster recovery, hardware upgrades and scaling. Guest operating systems. A guest operating system or guest OS is the OS or operating system installed within a virtual machine. A guest operating system is unaware it's running in a virtual environment and believes it has control over its hardware. And the hypervisor manages this illusion by controlling resource access. And here are the types of virtualization. Server virtualization. Commonly used in data centers, server virtualization divides one physical server into multiple isolated virtual servers. It improves efficiency by consolidating multiple servers into one machine, reducing power and maintenance costs. Desktop virtualization. This enables users to run virtual desktops on a central server or on their personal computers. And examples include virtual desktop infrastructure or VDI, where users access virtual desktops remotely. It is useful in businesses where employees need remote access or different operating system environments. And third one is network virtualization. Network virtualization creates multiple virtual networks within a physical network. This helps with security, network management and scalability, as each virtual network can have its own policies, firewalls and subnets. And storage virtualization. Storage virtualization 
virtualization combines multiple physical storage devices into a single logical storage unit, making storage management easier and often improving redundancy and performance. Application virtualization. With application virtualization, applications are separated from the underlying operating system and can run in isolated environments. This allows users to run applications that might otherwise be incompatible with the host operating system without conflicts. And here are the benefits of virtualization. First one, resource efficiency. By running multiple virtual systems on a single physical machine, virtualization maximizes hardware utilization and reduces the number of physical machines required. Second is cost savings. As virtualization reduces hardware costs, energy consumption and maintenance requirements, which is beneficial for businesses aiming to streamline IT costs. Scalability and flexibility. VMs or virtual machines can be created, modified or deleted as needed, making it easy to scale up or down based on a demand. This flexibility is ideal for cloud environments and testing scenarios. And fourth one is disaster recovery and high availability. VMs can be backed up, migrated or replicated to other systems, enabling quick recovery in case of failure. Features like live migration allow for minimal down time in case of hardware maintenance or failure. Isolation and security. Since each virtual machine is isolated, any issues or vulnerabilities in one VM won't directly affect others. This containment enhances security, particularly in multi-tenant environments. Development and testing. Virtualization is crucial for development environments, allowing developers to test software on various operating system versions or configurations with without needing separate physical machines. And here are the examples of virtualization software. Some common virtualization tools include VirtualBox, free, cross-platform and supports various operating system types. And we will also be installing a virtual box in next lessons. VMware Workstation Fusion Professional Grade for both personal and enterprise use with robust performance and advanced features. Microsoft Hyper-V, built-in Windows used primarily for Windows and certain Linux operating system types. KVM or kernel-based virtual machine, a powerful option for Linux users and popular in cloud environments. Quemu, versatile and open source, supporting both emulation and virtualization. And in conclusion, virtualization is transformative technology that optimizes resource use, simplifies IT management and enables flexible, scalable computing environments by allowing multiple independent environments on a single piece of hardware. It serves as the backbone for modern data centers, cloud computing and development processes. <music>